Hey, welcome to Why Are We Here, presented by Your Crystal Shop. I am your host, Kathleen, and I'm here with my co-hosts, Callie and Jackie. And filling in for Callie today is Bethany Paik. She's a good friend of ours. Hi, guys. I think you've podcasted with us before. You have. Mm -hmm. We just don't publish all our podcasts. (laughs) Sometimes they're just for us. (laughs) We do have more coming, though. We're going to find, they're going to be called the Lost Files someday. Ooh. I like that. (laughs) The first ones that we did. So today we want to talk about ascension stones or just stones that are for your own personal growth or evolution. What, um, What exactly is ascension? Like ascension stones? Uh, Well, ascension you could um, define as when, if it's applying to an individual, an individual, um, it would be when you elevate yourself beyond the constructs of this um, dimensional reality, you could say, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, um, to a direct connection with spirit that takes you beyond um just this i think that's that is perfect i think that is perfect that is what it is 3d to 5d yeah we are in a time space reality of three dimension and it Mm -hmm. includes contrast it includes negative emotions um we do this on purpose Mm -hmm. (laughs) so we can learn from a higher perspective we definitely we expand and we expand everything so Mm -hmm. we're going to help this whole universe get an upgrade so, yes, some stones that would help with that. And I do think we're getting close to a personal evolution. All of us should feel like we're evolving. If you are not, maybe this program isn't for you. Mm-hmm. But a lot of us, like-minded, we do feel that we are evolving. We're not able to eat the things that we used mm-hmm. to. We're starting to get the message to meditate. We're actually going to start a meditation group. Mm-hmm help us along, get us wanting to do it. I know I keep getting the messages to meditate and stones help with that. There's so many stones that um, have that nice higher frequency to help get you there in meditation, help get you there in your daily life. So um, that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to start with Moldavite because that's our store favorite. It really is. It's it, We seem to be <laughs> attracting Moldavite um, people, especially online. So it is our most sold item. Right now, it is helping people transform. Um, Jackie's writing a poem on Moldavite right now. So we're excited about that. And next week, we're going to be doing um, a sh- our show on Tektites. So Moldavite, again, will be we'll go in more in depth with Moldavite as a Tektite. Mm-hmm. But what, tell us what you think about Moldavite. Um, so a little bit on the history of Moldavite, it's about... It was a few million, couple million years ago, there was an impact of a meteor um, with Earth uh, in in around near Russia, and the heat or the reaction of the comet hitting Earth, um, the sediment that it hit created this glass, um, which you consider a tektite. Um, so it's actually not really a stone; it is a glass. Um, but so it's containing the energy, if you will, from extraterrestrial mm-hmm. space um, and Earth. So, and it's, I find that working with it, um, so it only comes from the, that one place. It's found typically in a riverbed um, and on land around that area. So it only comes from that one place um, on Earth. And it, I find that working with it, uh, it's, it propels you forward very rapidly. So mm. be prepared <laughs> when you wear oh, it. Yeah. And the more you wear <laughs> oh, yeah. things that do not serve your highest good or evolution or ascension, if you will, um, will fall away quite rapidly mm-hmm. because it is propelling you towards things that are meant to be in your reality for your highest good. Mm-hmm. And it can be difficult because when those things fall away, you yep. their attachments and <laughs> it can be very uncomfortable but in the end it's, it all serves you I love hearing from the guys over the years in the store about their mm-hmm. wives or girlfriends wearing Moldavite oh, they hate wow. it yeah, yeah I had the same thing my boyfriend my ex-boyfriend 
we were not meant to be each other, be with each other, hence the word X. Uh, but when he would see me put it on, he didn't even know what the stone was. He didn't know about, I mean, he was familiar with what a crystal was, but he didn't know what Moldavite was. He just saw me, he would, I would put on this green stone every now and again. And every time he knew he, that we were going to argue and probably break up. And so he'd see me, he'd see me put it on. He's like, take that off, take it off. <laughs> he knew what was about to happen. <laughs> and it, it wasn't even why I would put it on. It was just a byproduct of wearing yeah. it. Yeah. Things that don't serve you would leave your life. I was living with someone and it was out of financial reasons that, I mean, we did love each other and we had a company together, but out of financial reasons, we were living together. And I went to a seminar by, it was the first seminar I'd ever been to on stones or crystals. I didn't know anything about crystals. I liked picking them up when I was a kid, stones, but I didn't know anything about them having energy. And my girlfriend bought me these tickets to a show and heaven and earth was putting it on. And so I got myself a piece of Moldavite, and he kicked me out within 30 days. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> I remember going, my best friend was a um, medium, mm -hmm. and I went to her going, how can this be? Like, how did this happen? Yeah. Like, how could this stone even do this? Like, it, this is miserable. I, I don't yeah. know where I'm going to live. Yeah. I have kids. And she said, absolutely, the universe wants to place you somewhere with a better frequency. Mm -hmm. And she said, they want you to just dream up what you want. And I remember I started walking on the river, and I ended up in a condo on the river. Wow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Moldavite, within 30 days. Mm -hmm. But it was painful. I don't even like it moving. Is. Yeah, it is. Well, change is Yeah, painful. but it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I yeah. couldn't even imagine if I would still be in that situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So definitely it did me a favor. But I have found over the years you can calm it down a bit with other stones. Yeah. And you can wear it um, just a little bit, which brings me to Bethany today when we she said she wanted to join the podcast because <laughs> she's attracted to Moldavite. Yeah. And I just said, recently. okay. Just recently. And yeah. I, she didn't, wasn't attracted I at all. I have always hated this stone so much <laughs> it to me it just doesn't look right and it's <laughs> I love how it looks it's <laughs> I'm like no 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 <laughs> um I would not put it on my body <laughs> even looking at it I'm like I don't like the way it's looking at me <laughs> I'm, turning, I'm turning away it does have that feeling um and then just recently I just have wanted nothing more than change, big change in my life. Cause I, I know that I can, um, reach my potential elsewhere and doing things that I'm not doing right now currently that aren't suiting my, you know, uh, highest good. And, um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put some Moldavite on. <laughs> and then I gave her, just to try, because I wanted mm -hmm. her to feel the full impact of having too much. Yeah. So I, she was wearing, for about an hour, for, yep, for, for about, about an, an hour. hour, a bracelet that is all Moldavite beads mm -hmm. and Dambure, yeah. which I like together, and mm -hmm. I still wear it, and I did put it on today in honor of us talking mm -hmm. about Moldavite, but I don't wear it as much as I Yeah. Um, I recently, my whole jewelry box full of Moldavite like disappeared and then reappeared. <laughs> yeah. So it's very mysterious. It's <laughs> funny because it's like, it, um, it's when I knew I wanted to wear it, I went over to it and it looked like it was like winking at me. Like <laughs> you're now, now you want some. <laughs> <laughs> Come get a piece of me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I'm going to try you out, but don't get too comfortable. <laughs> That's what it's telling you, yeah. too. And sometimes <laughs> yeah. your life with Moldavite is short, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that wore it for about six months, and then they mm -hmm. don't. I always tell them it they can return it. It lost, I always well, hear. Yeah, it gets mm -hmm. lost. People, lot. It'll fall off people. Uh, they'll just look all of a sudden when they can't find it. Mm. It's, it is has a very mysterious quality to My it. My son wanted, Jeremy wanted to wear it, and it just kept breaking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It never breaks, but he only liked this polished piece yeah. that Heaven and Earth did. And that one broke easy. It did, because mm -hmm. once you polish it, it's now got not got its same structure, but it's really hardy for a glass. It's very hardy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't burn like glass. It takes a lot more yeah. temperature to burn it. So it is a different substance than it, glass. Yeah, but. it definitely looks extraterrestrial mm -hmm. for sure. And feels. Mm -hmm. Feels like home to some people. To me, it feels like 
Oof, I don't know where that's from. So but I don't really like it. So what did you feel in the hour? Um, it it gives you anxiety. And it, it can give you anxiety. Um, when you first put it on, when though. I first put it on, I it it definitely felt like uh, like it was like kind of vibrating or something. And then my ears started to ring, which was really interesting. Because um, normally they say when your ears are ringing, it's some somebody's trying to like communicate with you. Yeah. Um, and the ETs were right away. And, She's got it then, on. She's got it on. And then I, exactly. <laughs> and then I started walking around the store, and I felt as if I was leaving this dimension. <laughs> and I was she slipping simultaneously away. drinking coffee. <laughs> yeah, like a psychedelic. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It's very. It, it it makes it made me very aloof, but at the same time have so much energy, and um. That's what I love yeah, about Mumbai. Weirdly, I uh, was like looking at it and I still look at it and I sometimes get glimpses of what it, where it possibly came from. Um, and normally the glimpse that I like have, it's, uh, it's uh, just another planet somewhere that's just not, maybe not in this dimension or I don't know. And um, yeah, it's... So she ended up taking it off, I which it I off. said you're probably going to have to take yeah. this off. Well, it's funny because I, I looked at it on my wrist and I was like, it's time. It's time. <laughs> I take it off. Which is how it works. Yeah. Like you'll just know. Sometimes yeah. I only wear it for a couple hours, but I, right now I don't have a choice. I sell, I mean, I think mm -hmm. we have 1,700 items on Etsy and 450 of them are Moldavite. Mm -hmm. So... No, I'm touching it and it's in my room and mm -hmm. it's in front of me. When I decided that would be something I want to really get into buying a lot mm -hmm. of and selling, it things started happening quickly for mm -hmm. me because, again, I'm not wearing it. I wear one ring, yeah. which we decided a ring would be perfect for you to start yeah. out. And that would something be about small. the energy of one of those beads. Of those, yeah. And there's 20 of them on there. So For people that, like, want to try it but have, I think, more of, like, go lean towards more of an anxious tendency naturally but still want to incorporate a stone like a stone like that that can that can really project you into a lot of change you can pair it with a stone that is very calming so okay. you'll still have the qualities of um the moldavite and what it can do for you but like pairing it with laramar kunzite is another one my uh, um, uh aquamarine chrysoprase which is one of my other favorites. Chrysoprase, another one of mm -hmm. So Jackie Chrysoprase. makes all our crystal hemp wraps, and that's what you can look them up on Etsy. You can put crystal hemp wrap, and you'll see all of them. They're, they're works of art, and they last a long, long time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never... I've, I think I've had one that the back mm -hmm. broke, but mm -hmm. it was the way I'll show it to you. I got to bring it to you because it's a piece of zincite that I found it mm -hmm. and it's a piece of um, aquamarine. Oh, but it's old. You, it's super old That's, because yeah. it has a clasp in the it's back. It's from like five, six, six years ago. Yeah. yeah. They're so versatile. You can wear them. That one, the clasp like. broke, but she doesn't even do it that way. Otherwise, I have them hanging in my mirror, so mm -hmm. many of them, and they're beautiful. Yeah. And she does beautiful pairings when I give her Moldavite. Oh, yeah. She'll make ones, Moldavite and Laramar, Moldavite and, um, mm -hmm. I love Kunzite. Which, yeah. yeah. I love Kunzite. I'm going to talk about that one. That's one of my favorite Ascension Stones. But, um, yeah, we can calm it down and you can start little, like start with a very small piece. You don't need something really big. Yeah. But I wanted to talk about if Moldavite doesn't attract you, because if it isn't attractive to you and you don't really feel like that's a stone you want to wear please don't mm -hmm. it's telling you that through law mm -hmm. of attraction and through your attraction but um i do love um also and a lot of earth spiritual workers aren't attracted to moldavite they are way way more grounded so they can go for um i love super seven that's like a personal favorite, um, Oralite 23. I'm going to talk about both of those because both of those base are amethyst. And amethyst is a great ascension stone. And having all the other minerals in it just makes it all that much more projecting and going forward. But amethyst is great at your old programming, getting rid of your old programming. Mm -hmm. It's always been for bad habits. Mm -hmm. So definitely... Um, and I, 
let's name all the Super 7 stones. I'm not going to name Oralite 23. <laughs> I don't have those <laughs> memorized, but you can help me if I... Um, it has clear quartz in it. It has amethyst. It has smoky quartz. Cococcinite, lepidiacrosite, gothite, and one more, one more. rutel. Uh, rutel. So those are the seven stones that are in Super 7, which was, I want to say, discovered maybe 15 years ago. It was in Brazil, one mine. Um, you didn't have to get a piece that you could see all of those stones in. You only had to have a piece from that mine. I think there is a lot of fake out there. Um, I like to feel mine first because I can feel Super 7, and it does feel different as Oralite. Oralite comes from Canada, and it's actually a chevron amethyst that's banded, and it does um, contain 23 other minerals that um, you're going to see in, on our slide the list of minerals. I definitely don't have those memorized. But those are two great alternative stones that will help you um, go forward they um, all help dispel fear, help you get rid of judgment. We're looking at for those kind of things because if you do want to head toward your own personal evolution, the things we will drop are negative emotions, we'll drop jealousy, we'll drop judgment, and most of all, we'll drop fears. Fear, yeah. Yeah. Fear change. So if you have any of those things, crystals will help you evolve and help you mm -hmm. let go of those things. Um, what other one? Oh, I wanted to talk about kunzite because that's kind of my favorite get through things. Kunzite has a um, way of just opening your heart toward others. Mm -hmm. So in getting away from fear and judgment, really loving everyone, love your neighbor, love everyone. So if you can calming. reach that, uh, this stone makes me feel like I love everyone. It it's does full it. of lithium. Yeah, it's full of lithium, so that helps you put you in your heart space, get out of your head. So I love kunzite, and that's a great pairing with moldavite. It really is. That's, and I don't. You don't have to have you know like Jackie's wrap with both of them together. You can wear the jewelry together. They. So yeah, you layer things. I have moldavite on, but I also have a bigger piece of kunzite. I <laughs> love kunzite. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the? Is it? Does it have pink? And yeah, they're pink. Yeah. One. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So we're showing you pictures of some of the kunzite that we have for sale, but please do visit the website. You'll see a lot more. Um, what? So what are you guys' favorite? We just went through a Mercury yeah. and retrograde from hell. <laughs> What'd you turn to? Um, my go-to is always Laramar, um, but lately I've been just incredibly drawn to uh chrysoprase um i don't know if it's just the way it looks but for some reason it just completely speaks to me and it's got this gorgeous like blue green color and uh sometimes you can get like some of them with like the the matrix which has like that kind of rusty tan mm. rock mixed in with it oh my gosh it's it's so beautiful. But when I, the reason I love it is because it helps with my anxiety. Uh, I mean, right now I have one in my hand and when I was holding that um, Moldavite, I was like, oh, here it goes. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> and I'm like, let me put this down and let me pick up my chrysoprase. And Jackie gave me a piece one time because I have issues with flying and I get uh, super anxious when I fly. And the whole time I was flying, I had it, uh, I was carrying it with me and I felt a lot better. It was cal it's calming for sure. Good. So. Yeah, keeping us calm is huge and dispelling. If we're going to dispel is. fear and we're yeah. going to love people, mm -hmm. we need to be calm. calm. Yeah. Yeah, calm, peaceful, grace. Mm -hmm. So the only other two I was going to talk about is the heaven and earth, Preach. the vials. I, li I like um, Robert Simmons did the work for you and put stones together in a vial. So he does have an ascension stone. Um, there's several others. There's a calm. Mm -hmm. There's their blends, but you look those up by um, crystal vial pendant. So you can just put in on in my store vial and you'll get all of these. They have a silver coil going around them, kind of a Tesla effect. The actual vial is made of quartz crystal. He has them special made. Really? But there's I yes. Did not know that. So that's why these feel so good. They're no. so strong. They are really strong. 
and then synergy there's several synergy ones that are you want to feel a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> this has moldavite phenakite tanzanite oh damburite azestulite herderite and tibetan tectite <laughs> and this is just Synergy 7. He mm. makes a Synergy 12 that I'm sold out. Every, what? I'll get four in and they sell oh like... Oh, my gosh. That's a hot one looked for. But I like the 7. I like the original mm -hmm. ones he did. Those are great stones. And some of these are really hard to get. So the fact that he still makes the pendant is good that you can get a little piece of herderite because I can't find it anywhere else. Um, tanzanite's going away. Phenakite went away for a little while. I think the government was buying it, mm. but there's some in the market really? right now. Yes. For what? For remote viewing. What? Remote viewing. So, yeah, the best stone for out-of-body experiences is phenakite. And that's we were talking about that earlier. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine and I were trying to channel, and we taped some phenakite to our <laughs> third eye. And the mm -hmm. first thing that our guides told us is, get the phenakite off, that it's not for this application. <laughs> and so we were like, well, what is it for? And it, it's for traveling out of body. It's for, you want to leave mm -hmm. your body. So we were having trouble connecting. Astral projection? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so travel. So definitely, these are, visit our website. <laughs> we got a lot, of, I know I keep reaching. We got a lot of cool stuff. Anything else you girls want to talk about? No, I think that's just Yeah, about next it. week we're going to talk about tectites. And there's some great tectites. Like you can have all that energy of Moldavite mm -hmm. in just Tibetan tectite without mm -hmm. the huge changes. Yeah. It's just like a cup of coffee. I love I love it is. wearing that. And I had both. This <laughs> you had both this morning. <laughs> Woo, I went on a roller coaster ride. ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.